Hello, everyone. Thanks for being here with us as we pour from coast to coast once again. I have a surprise for you at the end, so be sure to stick around. Today, I am revisiting a technique that I started doing a few months ago where I paint the canvas with color art primary elements and then I do a pearl pour over it. I have found that this just gives such an incredible effect to your negative space and I absolutely love doing this. Now, if you've seen anyone do this technique before, please let me know. Um, I have not seen it done before, but obviously that doesn't mean it hasn't been done. So please let me know in the comments if you've seen it done before somewhere. Here I'm starting out with my sky colors and why I can't just do a nice calm sky with pretty yellows and oranges, I don't know. I always have to add those dramatic colors like violet and navy because you have to admit they do look gorgeous together with the oranges and yellows. I also definitely use the deeper colors um, when I'm doing this technique because when the pearl mix absorbs those colors, they're going to appear muted when the painting dries. So the darker they are, uh, I can put them on the canvas, then the more colorful my negative space is going to be, and that is what I'm aiming for. All of my primary elements were mixed with Vivid Art Fluid by Color Art, and this allows them to dissolve and be used very much like watercolors. Guys, please check out all of the uh, videos from the other artists in this collaboration. We have Garrick Brown. I don't know if he's going to be here this week, um, but go check him out anyway because he is absolutely amazing, um, a force to be reckoned with. We also have Chris Jezik. We have Maida Pores, and we have a surprise addition to our um, Every Other Friday collaboration. So stay tuned for that.
I want you to do me a favor and look at the side of the canvas right there. There's some of the sand color that dripped over. Um, of course, you've got the pearl base. So chances are these sides are not going to be very attractive when I get done. Um, I just want you to notice that because that will explain why I do what I do uh, showing you the dried results. Now this is generally around the point that I would pull out my palette knife, but I resisted and I left it the way that it was. I really liked the composition, the way that those colors blended was just beautiful. Um, and I couldn't bring myself to uh, what I call wrecking it when I go back with my knife. Now I did go back, if you look at the top um, of the composition, I did go back with my knife and kind of define uh, those curves because there was a shadow of the blues underneath the pearl coat. So I wanted that defined just a little bit. So you can see here that I painted the sides uh, in the Prussian blue, but I left the areas where the pearl pour spilled over the sides to give it a really unique look. 
I also did a gloss varnish just on the water area, uh, the, the main composition of the piece. I have learned that when the, these pieces dry, um, the satin enamel pearl mix over those primary elements, it creates this beautiful, creamy, smooth, matte finish. And I just cannot bring myself to put any kind of gloss on it. So by glossing the, uh, the main part of the composition, it really creates a nice sense of contrast and draws your eye right to those pearls. Coming up next is my beautiful friend Chris Jezik that I got to hug a couple of months ago. Following her will be Maida Pours and making her debut on the Pouring Coast to Coast train is one of my absolute besties in the fluid art world, Miss Teneva Baker. If you have not seen her channel, if you have not seen her work, you are missing out, my friends. Go check her out. Be sure and stay tuned till the end of our train. She will be caboosing us, and uh, I know you're going to like what you see. Guys, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate you more than you know. Have a wonderful weekend.